Good day. My name is Philip Skuman, Product Manager at Mirror Distribution. And today I would like to introduce the latest member joining the Mirror product portfolio, which is Nectonix's range of DC powered PoE switches. So, for those of you that are not familiar with the brand as of yet, Nectonix is one of the leading switch manufacturers worldwide, specializing in solutions for the wireless internet service providers, or WISPs for short. These switches feature a rugged chassis, a wide operating temperature range, and an extremely easy to use and feature rich user interface. You also get gigabit ethernet and SFP ports, non-blocking throughput switching performance, and software configurable passive PoE output with current sensors. So each of these ports can be individually configured to one of the following options. The first one is 24 volt PoE um, output over two pairs. This utilizes four of the eight copper wires in an Ethernet cable to power devices such as Ubiquiti's Airmax and Airmax H, uh, AC devices, like the Ubiquiti rocket, the power beam, the nano stations, and so on. Uh, radios like Cambium's Force 190 and Force 200 can also be powered uh, with this option. The next one is 48 volt PoE output over two pairs. So this would power 48 volt devices requiring power on two Ethernet pairs as well. And this would typically include radios such as the carrier grade Liga Wave rapid fire radios and the Cambium EPMP 2000 base stations. Then from there you have the option to use 4 pair PoE as well with both 24 and 48 volts. The 24 volt PoE output with 4 pairs is for the more power hungry 24 volt devices such as your Ubiquiti uh, Air Fiber 5X radios and the Air Fiber 5X HD radios. So these require power on all 8 copper wires and is also known as Phantom PoE which now utilizes the same copper wires to transmit both power and data. And then the last option is 48 volt PoE output over four pairs. And this is what your high end carrier grade and microwave radios such as SIA and Radwin would need to operate. So some PTZ or rather speedome cameras would also require this type of uh, power input. Then let's look at uh, what we stock at Mirror. So we decided on the following three Netonic switches. First up, the WS8150DC. Uh, next in line is the WS12250DC. And then last but not least is the WS26400IDC. So let's look at each of them uh, briefly. First up, the WS8150DC is a six port managed PoE switch with two SFP ports um, with a voltage input range of between 9 and 72 volts DC. <clears throat> the switch allows for power output on 24 or 48 volts and as I mentioned, uh, two or four pair power configuration. It gives you up to 150 watts power budget and is desktop uh, desktop or wall mountable. The next one, the WS12250DC, is a 12 port managed PoE switch with two SFP ports and an input range of 9 to 72 volts DC. Again, 24 or 48 volt PoE output, either two or four pair configuration. This allows for 100 watts more on the power budget, which gives you up to 200, 250 watts. It is desktop, wall mount, or even rack mountable if you do decide to purchase the optional uh, rack mount kit, which is the NTX uh, RMK250. And then last of the switches we stock is the WS26400 IDC, which is a 24 port managed PoE switch with two SFP ports. And in this case, it has a power input of between uh, 36 volts and 72 volts DC, either positive or negative input, whereas the other two switches are only positive input. Again, it gives out power on 24 48 volt PoE, two or four pairs. It now allows for up to 400 watts of uh, power budget. It is desktop wall mountable or the same as the previous one. Uh, rack mountable if you do decide to purchase the optional NTX RMK26 rack mount kit. 
So that's it for the hardware. Now let's look at some of the software features of the Netonix DC switches, uh, which is all obviously accessible via the easy to use interface. So some of the highlights here are the bandwidth limiting per port, uh, STP or RSTP, which is spanning tree protocol or rapid spanning tree protocol, port moving, VLAN with trunking, uh, port isolation, ping watchdog per port, cable diagnostics, IGMP snooping and DHCP snooping. Then from there let's look at some of the power options. So even though it is a DC powered switching solution, you can power these uh, Netonix switches via DC as well as AC power. So for an AC power input, uh, use 220 volt AC from the grid in line with your battery charger with UPS. This in turn would charge your battery solution and power your Netonix switch with a voltage range between 9 and 72 volts DC as I mentioned. From there the switches allows for PoE output on either or both 24 and 48 volt, both 2 pair and 4 pair PoE as I mentioned as well. And then lastly for a DC solution the power input will be something like a solar solution connected to a voltage regulator charging the battery setup. From here, a voltage range of between 9 to 72 volts DC is accepted for powering up the Natonix switch. And as previously mentioned, then you have a 2 pair or 4 pair PoE power output on both 24 and 48 volts. So that is it from our side. If you um, have any further questions regarding this or any one of our solutions, uh, please do not hesitate to contact either myself or any one of our sales guys who would be more than happy to assist in this regard. Thank you for watching.